What is Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is a wireless technology that enables electronic devices to connect to the internet. Wi-Fi is a wireless technology that allows devices like smartphones, laptops, tablets, and other electronics to connect to the internet and communicate with each other over short distances without using physical cables. Who invented Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi technology was invented by Dr. John O'Sullivan and his team at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization in Australia. Dr. John O'Sullivan and his team patented Wi-Fi technology in 1996. Wi-Fi technology was introduced in Australia under Dr. John O'Sullivan's leadership. How did Wi-Fi get its name? The Wi-Fi Alliance is an organization that owns the Wi-Fi trademark. In 1999, the Wi-Fi Alliance wanted a catchy, easy-to-remember name for the technology. To achieve this, they hired the company Interbrand. Interbrand came up with the name Wi-Fi. The term Wi-Fi was coined in 1999. This is when the Wi-Fi Alliance, with the help of the branding company Interbrand, created the name for technology. They chose the name because it sounded catchy and was easy to remember, similar to the popular term Hi-Fi. Wi-Fi was inspired by the term Hi-Fi and the name. Wi-Fi was chosen because it sounded similar to Hi-Fi. Other than accessing the internet what other features Wi-Fi provide? You can print from your phone or computer to a Wi-Fi enabled printer without needing any cables. You can transfer files between devices, like between a phone and a laptop on the same Wi-Fi network without using the internet. Wi-Fi connects smart home gadgets like smart lights, cameras, and thermostats, allowing you to control them remotely. E smart home devices like voice assistants, lights, thermostats, speakers, and security cameras also require Wi-Fi to function properly. Devices, like phones, tablets, and computers, connected to the same Wi-Fi network can communicate with each other for file sharing, screen sharing, or even controlling one device with another without needing the internet. Some security cameras connect to your Wi-Fi to transmit video footage directly to your phone or computer, allowing you to monitor your home or office locally without the internet. What is a Wi-Fi dongle? A Wi-Fi dongle, also known as a Wi-Fi adapter, USB Wi-Fi stick, or wireless USB adapter, Wi-Fi dongle is a small device that enables computers or other devices to connect to Wi-Fi networks. Wi-Fi dongle is a device that enables a computer or other electronic device to connect to Wi-Fi networks. The Wi-Fi dongle provides wireless connectivity for devices without built-in Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi dongle is portable and offers a plug-and-play solution for wireless internet connectivity. What is an ISP? ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. ISPs, or Internet Service Providers, allow your devices, like computers, smartphones, etc., to connect with the Internet. ISPs, or Internet Service Providers, are companies or organizations that enable your device with Internet access. Without an Internet Service Provider or ISP, individuals and organizations would be unable to access the Internet or engage in online activities. There are three levels of Internet Service Provider, ISP Tier 1 ISP, Tier 2 ISP, and Tier 3 ISP. Tier 1 ISP these ISPs are at the top of the hierarchy and they have a global reach. These are the largest ISPs in the world, with extensive global networks. They provide Internet to Tier 2 and Tier 3 ISPs. Tier 1 ISPs typically provide the highest speeds. 
and reliability. They own and operate a vast portion of the Internet's infrastructure and do not rely on other ISPs for Internet. Tier 1 ISPs control the main Internet connections around the world. Tier 2 ISPs are smaller companies that rely on Tier 1 ISPs to connect to the Internet. Tier 2 ISPs depend on Tier 1 ISPs to connect to the global Internet. Tier 2 ISPs often operate in specific regions or countries. Tier 3 ISPs are the smallest companies that provide Internet to local areas and depend on Tier 1 and Tier 2 companies for their connections. Tier 3 ISPs usually provide services to specific towns, cities, or regions. Tier 3 ISPs depend on Tier 1 or Tier 2 ISPs for Internet connectivity. What is a modem? A modem is a networking device. It helps the computer and the Internet communicate with each other. The modem brings the Internet from your ISP Internet Service Provider into your home. A modem is a hardware device that enables communication between a computer and the Internet. Modem performs two functions, modulation and demodulation. Use. A computer can only read digital signals, while the Internet only reads analog signal. In the process of demodulation, a modem helps the computer and the Internet communicate to each other. Modem converts or demodulates Internet analog signals into computer digital signals, so that a computer can understand. The Internet only reads analog signal. In the process of modulation, to let the Internet understand computer signal, modem also converts or modulates computer digital signals into Internet analog signals. Modem performs two functions, modulation and demodulation. The modem is a device that connects to the ISP network. Internet Service Provider ISP is a company that provides access to the Internet. Modem is a device that connects your home or office to the ISP network. The modem receives the Internet signal from the ISP and passes it to your device. Compare modem and router. If you only want one of your devices to access the Internet, then only a modem is required. If you want to connect multiple devices to access the Internet, then both a modem and a router are required. What is a router? The modem brings the Internet from the ISP Internet Service Provider into your home. The router takes that Internet connection from the modem and shares it with multiple devices like smartphones, computers, and smart TVs. Once the modem gets the Internet from the ISP Internet Service Provider, the router distributes that Internet to the devices in your home. A router is a device that allows multiple devices to access the Internet. A router is a networking device that allows multiple devices to access the Internet, either wirelessly, Wi-Fi, or through wired connections. What is the process of data transfer between a router and devices through Wi-Fi? Router. The router distributes Internet to your devices through radio waves. The router sends out radio waves on specific frequencies, such as 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. Devices like smartphones, computers, or tablets can detect these radio waves from the router and connect to the network, allowing them to access the Internet. Once connected to the Wi-Fi network, the device can send and receive data enabling Internet access for activities like browsing, streaming, and more. A Wi-Fi network is a system that allows devices to connect to the Internet or each other wirelessly using radio waves. 
The router acts as the central device transmitting the internet digital signal in the form of radio waves to devices. A Wi-Fi network enables internet access without the need for physical cables. What are the different Wi-Fi frequency bands? Wi-Fi frequency refers to the specific radio frequencies used to transmit data wirelessly over a network. Wi-Fi operates on several frequency bands. The Wi-Fi spectrum is just a range of radio waves or frequencies that Wi-Fi networks use to send and receive data wirelessly. The most commonly used Wi-Fi frequencies are 2.4 GHz band, 5 GHz band, 6 GHz band, 2.4 GHz. It offers a longer range, meaning it can travel farther. Wi-Fi on the 2.4 GHz band has slower speeds. The 2.4 GHz band generally offers the slowest speed but has the longest range. Microwaves, phones, and Bluetooth devices interfere with Wi-Fi because they all use the same 2.4 GHz frequency band. When multiple devices use the same frequency, their signals can overlap and cause interference. 5 GHz band the 5 GHz band has a shorter range and can only travel a shorter distance. Wi-Fi on the 5 GHz band has much faster speeds. The 5 GHz band is faster but has a shorter range. 6 GHz band. The 6 GHz band has a shorter range and can only travel a shorter distance. The 6 GHz band offers very fast speeds. What is dual band and tri band? Dual band. A dual band router supports two frequency bands, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. With a dual band router, devices can choose between these two bands. Tri band. A tri band router supports three frequency bands, 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz. With tri-band routers, devices can connect to any of the three bands. What are the different devices that can help us to extend Wi-Fi coverage? The following devices can help us extend Wi-Fi coverage. 1. Wi-Fi repeater. 2. Wi-Fi extender. 3. Mesh Wi-Fi system. 4. Power line adapters. 5. Wi-Fi Signal Booster 6. Wi-Fi Access Point 7. Wi-Fi Range Extending USB Adapter Each of these devices has its own strengths and best use cases, depending on your specific needs and the layout of your home or office. What is the Wi-Fi version? Wi-Fi 1 Wi-Fi 2 Wi-Fi 3 Wi-Fi 4 Wi-Fi 5 Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 7. All these are Wi-Fi version. Wi-Fi versions are consumer-friendly names to represent a specific generation of Wi-Fi technology. Wi-Fi version is the name given to a specific generation of Wi-Fi technology. What is Wi-Fi standard? Wi-Fi standard is the technical specification behind the Wi-Fi version. Wi-Fi standard is the technical specification that defines how the Wi-Fi technology works. Each Wi-Fi version relates to a specific Wi-Fi standard. For example, Wi-Fi 1 is based on the 802.11b standard. Wi-Fi 2 is based on the 802.11a standard. Wi-Fi 3 is based on the 802.11g standard. Wi-Fi 4 is based on the 802.11n standard. Wi-Fi 5 is based on the 802.11ac standard. Wi-Fi 6 is based on the 802.11ax standard. Wi-Fi 6e is based on the 802.11ax standard. Wi-Fi 7 is based on the 802.11be standard. What is a Wi-Fi scanner? Wi-Fi scanner is a tool that scans for surrounding Wi-Fi networks. 
A Wi-Fi scanner is a tool that helps you find and check nearby Wi-Fi networks. What is SSID? SSID stands for Service Set Identifier, and it is essentially the name of a Wi-Fi network. When you scan for available Wi-Fi networks on your smartphone, laptop, or other devices, the networks displayed on your screen are called SSID. Each SSID you see represents a different Wi-Fi network. What are Wi-Fi security protocol? When you choose a SSID or Wi-Fi network and enter the password, you're not just connecting to the network. You're also making sure that everything you send and receive is kept safe and private using special security measures. These security measures are called Wi-Fi security protocols. Wi-Fi security protocols are methods used to protect wireless networks. They help keep your data safe and ensure only authorized people can access the network. Over time, these protocols have improved to fix the weaknesses in older ones. What are the different Wi-Fi security protocols? Wi-Fi security protocols have evolved to improve network protection. 1. WEP, Wired Equivalent Privacy, was introduced in 1997. WEP, Wired Equivalent Privacy, uses RC4 Rivest Cipher 4 encryption. WEP, Wired Equivalent Privacy, is now considered outdated and insecure and should be avoided. 2. WPA, Wi-Fi Protected Access, was introduced in 2003. WPA, Wi-Fi Protected Access, uses TKIP, Temporal Key Integrity Protocol, encryption. WPA, Wi-Fi Protected Access, is still vulnerable and should not be used. 3. WPA2 Wi-Fi Protected Access 2 was introduced in 2004. WPA2 Wi-Fi Protected Access 2 uses AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, with CCMP, Counter Mode with Cipher Blockchaining Message Authentication Code Protocol. WPA2 Wi-Fi Protected Access 2 is currently secure and widely recommended, especially if WPA3 is not available. 4. WPA3 Wi-Fi Protected Access 3 was introduced in 2018. WPA3 Wi-Fi Protected Access 3 uses AES 256-bit encryption with SAE for authentication. WPA3 Wi-Fi Protected Access 3 is the most secure option and the best choice for modern networks. What is Wi-Fi calling? Wi-Fi calling lets you make phone calls over a Wi-Fi network instead of your mobile network. It works like a regular call but is useful when your cell signal is weak. Wi-Fi calling works by routing your calls and messages through a Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi calling also works internationally when you're connected to Wi-Fi. Does Wi-Fi radiation have any harmful effects on health? The radiation emitted by Wi-Fi is generally considered safe, and there is no evidence to suggest that Wi-Fi causes cancer, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, or headaches. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, Wi-Fi is safe for everyday use. However, if you are concerned about exposure, you can take steps to reduce it, such as using wired connections or turning off your router when it's not in use. Do you find this video useful? If you find this video informative, hit the like button. Your likes are very precious. Your likes are very valuable like this video do you use wi-fi every day let us know in the comments section